Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're going to be discussing about the early game dinos or the best dinos that you want to tame in the early game to help you get your best foot forward inside Ark Survival Evolved because, uh, I mean, each individual journey is completely different and these dinos I mean... I you probably won't have all of them until the later game, but whichever ones you decide to shoot for in the early game can really help spur you forward and push you forward into a better play experience. Now, the ones that I would recommend going for in, well, let's go in order and let's say the top 10, because normally I do top fives, top sevens and whatnot, but there's quite a few of these guys that can actually help you out. And uh, then again, the ones that don't make this list, they're also still pretty good, but the ones that make the list will actually help you out a little bit better and they will help you go a little bit farther, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. And uh, yeah, they'll kind of uh, propel you forward pretty dang good. All right, so without further ado, let's talk about the first one, which is the Parasaur. As you can see from this guy right here, who's not cooperating and decided to start eating as soon as I started recording him. Found commonly in the wild, you can bullet these guys and just slingshot them. All right, but yeah, once tamed, these guys, they um, have a uh, ping that you can send out to see where uh, oh, uh, problem dinos are, where aggressive dinos are in the distance. And then also, they can attack, they can harvest berries, and they can also roar, which will put things that are kind of small or medium-sized and smaller into a uh, passively... Uh, situation and give you a little bit of time to get away. So these guys right here, while they're not the fastest, they're not the strongest, they're not the beefiest, they do have a bunch of good things going for them, and you can actually get their saddle pretty, um, pretty much lower level at level 9, which is very, very early on in the game. So keep your eye out for these guys. They're pretty good. All right, now the next one on this list is going to be no surprise to anybody who's actually a more experienced player, and that is the Iguanodon. These guys are really good. They come in at number nine, and these guys, they actually will, um, and they have two different modes of transportation. One is they're up on their uh, back legs. The other one is they're down on all fours. On all fours, they do not run out of stamina while running. You can run these guys forever, all the way around the map, as much as you want, and they will not lose an ounce of stamina it is really impressive now up like this on the back legs they can still do quite a bit of damage they can jump really high the distance they jump isn't super great but the amount that they can jump um just straight up is really impressive you can get around quite well with these guys all right also uh they do harvest up berries a little bit better than a parasaur and then also in their inventory you can take and you can uh turn all of their berries into seeds inside their inventory and just make it so where you can use those for planting. Also, they stack up a little bit better. They do um, have an expiration time, but the expiration time is a lot more than uh, um, regular berries, so you can actually use these as a food source. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also, they weigh next to nothing. All right, now how you tame these guys is much the same as you would a Parasaur. Uh, you can uh, knock them out in the wild. You can actually use a uh, bullet or and a uh, slingshot if you wanted to. It'd be a little bit trickier. Uh, but since their saddle is uh, at level 30, I would recommend you use Trank Arrows uh, from a bow. It's actually really easy and really simple. All right, the next one on this list is the Mo Shops. These guys come in at number eight. These guys are very, very efficient during the lower levels. Yeah, they're not the fastest things. They're not the tankiest things, but they do get rather beefy at the higher levels. This guy's only level 35, and you can ride these guys without a saddle, which means that you can tame these guys at level one. Now, uh, for harvesting, these guys are really, really amazing. Plus, also, you can level up how good they harvest. Say you want to harvest more raw prime meat, you can do it. Say you want to harvest more rare flowers, totally. Leech blood, organic uh, um, polymer, sap, uh, raw fish meat. Uh, yeah, it's, these guys are really, really good. So say if you want to, if you're harvesting a lot of prime meat and you need that stuff, you can just uh, level up these guys, which means they get a higher percentage of prime, uh, raw prime meat 
from their dinosaurs and less regular meat, which is really, really good, especially in the early game. Now, harvesting with these guys, they will harvest just about anything uh, besides uh, stone and such like that. They won't harvest any of that, but the bushes, the trees, uh, dinosaurs, they will totally harvest that, and they will love harvesting it. Now, taming these guys can be a little bit tricky, but um, it's more just kind of like chance, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, when you see these guys out in the wild, you walk up to them and they're just going to be passive tamed. Um, it'll tell you what they want. And now it's a random selection of different ones. I kind of lucked out on this guy because he wants raw prime fish meat, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But then again, you can also go into the um, ocean. You can uh, oh, eat a saber-toothed salmon or a shark, and then you can get raw prime fish meat, take it delivered to this guy. Also, uh, what they want ranges from all different sorts of berries to uh, um, oh, raw prime fish meat, also to uh, rare mushrooms and uh, flowers, all sorts of different stuff. It's quite a bit of a collection these guys can want. They can even get want bee honey or sap. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of hit or miss with these guys. You can luck out and get an early game tame with one of these guys that just wants Tinto Berries. And then you can have it for your uh, early game and they will help you out tremendously. So keep an eye out for these guys. Um, when you see them out in the wild, run up to them, see what they want. You may actually have the stuff in your inventory to just do a quick tame on these guys and then you have a new buddy that will help you out for quite a while. All right, now the next one is, of course, the dire wolf, which uh, these guys are a big pain in the butt to tame, but once you actually have one or a pack, these guys are phenomenal. All right, so by themselves, these guys, you can actually uh, just hop on their back, no saddle needed, which is a good thing, also a bad thing, uh, which is why they actually don't come in a little bit higher, because without a saddle means that they have no damage reduction, although they are able to... Uh, Wrong button. They are able to howl, which does increase uh, quite a few of their different things. It buffs them up, makes them do more damage, makes them take less damage. It is rather impressive. But once you actually have these guys in a pack format, they will just demolish everything. Now, you can find these guys up in the northern areas of the uh, island or all sorts of... Uh, different other maps if you're playing on different maps like the modded ones uh look for these guys in the colder biomes sometimes in the desert biomes uh these guys are actually really good now if you can find them by themselves it's better and then you can use a lower level one to actually go out and then tame a higher level one and then you can just work your way up uh yeah i would recommend doing that uh you can bullet these guys and then just knock them out with a trank uh um Oh, with Trank Arrows, it's really, really simple. But once you have them, it will change you the way you play quite considerably. It's really, really impressive. All right, the next one on this list and coming in at number six is the Raptor. These guys, I gave them a little bit higher on the dark on the list than a direwolf for early game tames because these guys are really, really good. You can get these guys super low level. Their saddle actually comes in at level 18, so keep an eye out for these guys. Get those bullets made. You wanna always be walking around in the early game with at least a stack of about five or so bullets, maybe more, all just depends. I just know the bullets actually uh, do start weighing a little bit. So yeah, don't carry too many so where you're super encumbered. But yeah, once you can bullet these guys, you can actually either punch them knock them out with slingshots or you can shoot them with trank arrows and uh, knock them out that way and then once you have one of them they are really good but also just like the uh, other dinos they also have a pack buff you will uh, um you do the little screech all the other ones mimic the screech and then you shred things you get that pack mate buff and then things just die it's really impressive and how fast they attack is extreme. It's really, really good. Also, uh, these guys, they do have another special ability. They are able to pounce on things and attack things. Get that compy. Dude, there you go. There you go. Suck it, compies. All right, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you can pounce on these things. You can hold things down. And then also, you can attack really, really fast. It's really good. Yeah, also, not to mention these guys, they run fast, they jump. It's really good. All right, next on the list. 
All right, now coming in next on this list at number five is the Calicotherium. Now these guys, they're a little bit harder to get, but if you can get one early game, they are absolutely amazing. You get them by passive taming them out in the wild, uh, and you can use stim berries for it. I would not recommend using that. I would recommend using beer barrels, which kind of sucks because it takes a little bit of time, but once you have the beer, it is really impressive what these guys can do. All right, the saddle comes in at 42, which is weird because the um, beer barrel comes in at 36, which means that once you get 36, you need to actually start getting that beer barrel going because these guys are amazing. You need to get that beer cooking as quick as possible. And in my underdog series, like right here, I uh, was able to get this stuff going and it worked out really, really well. And I've been thoroughly testing these guys over here on this series and they have proven to be one of the better dinos that I have so far. And honestly, I would imagine you could probably take these guys all the way through the early game up into the first boss fights if you were actually looking for that. I mean, I know a lot of people, they played uh, Ark for many years and never touched a boss, but if you have these guys, in your stable, just know you can actually do it. And these guys, they will hit like a truck. You don't have to fear Rexes. You don't have to fear uh, nothing while you're carrying these guys. It is really amazing. Now that you, they can come up close and you can hit things uh, in the face with their uh, regular attack. You can also harvest berries. Probably one of the better berry harvesters that I've ever seen in Ark. I mean, there are some that are really, really good. These guys, they can do it on the move. They can have this massive swipe attack and they can just get so much. It is really, really impressive what these guys can do. And also the amount of damage they do with just a regular smack, suck it, Dodo. Yeah, these guys, they, uh, they come in at um, oh, number five for a very, very good reason. These guys are really good. Now, if these guys are so good, the ones later on in this list, they're even better. And they're really good, and they're there for a reason. All right, now the next guy that comes in on the list, it's uh, number four. These guys are really, really good, and you cannot go without mentioning the trike. All right, you can learn their saddle at level 16, which is really, really good. You can actually knock these guys out with a slingshot. Um, I would recommend against it. I would actually use trank arrows a little bit later on, but you can totally do it with a bola. Just make sure that when you aim, you aim right here towards their legs, because if you aim up here, you ain't gonna do nothing. Uh, it's, they're just gonna laugh and then just uh, trample you down and eat you. Uh, the, if you aim at their legs or their sides, they take full damage, and you can knock them out that way. But these guys, they are so good. Uh, I mean, early game, they, uh, they can harvest up just about everything. They harvest a a little bit um, worse than a uh, Calicotherium, but they are really, really good still. All right, now the attacks that they do, because they take so much reduced damage in the front, as long as you keep your front aimed at it, then uh, these guys, they will totally be able to take it out. And it's just a matter of uh, wearing them down. Um, just constantly, just smacking them, taking little damage, and then just eating them up that way with the horns. That's the beauty of a trike, is, yeah, they'll just take the hits and just keep on ticking. It's really good. They also do have a charge mechanic that you can, uh, build up over on the far right. You see that little red meter that's going up? You release that, and then they just start charging, and then they take out just about everything as the dillos go flying. It's really good. All right, I gotta take out this Dillo real quick. Eh, suck it, Dillo. All right, but yeah, that's why these guys come in at number four because they are so good. They, they're not the fastest things, but they will get you from point A to point B and they'll do it safely. All right, back to my underdog series, and we're gonna be talking about one that I never knew was this good, but um, through serious testing that I've given this uh, um, type of dino, they have come out to be absolutely amazing. So coming in at number three is the Megaloceros. I know, I know, I know. These guys, I never knew just how good they were. But here, let me take that off so you can see these guys in their full glory. They are so, so good. These guys, they will take on things so much bigger than them without even worrying about it. And the amount of damage they can do and the amount of sustainability, their speed, 
Everything that they can get, it is so good. Now, you can actually get these guys... At level 30 is when you can craft their saddle. So keep an eye out for these guys. You'll see them up in the woods, up in the uh, um, Redwoods area. All sorts of different places up there. And these guys, they are so impressive what they will do. You'll, po you'll pop them up. You'll see them way up in the woods, just standing just like that. All majestic, and then you um, take them, you can bullet them, you can knock them out, tame them with berries, tame them with kibble, tame them with whatever you have, and they are so, so good. I've done the high-end caves with these guys, not the ultimate high-end caves, but pretty dang close. And these guys, they come out shining no matter what I put them through. There's very few dinos that I can throw just about anything at, and then they will... Uh, uh, be able to just take it in stride. Megaloceros are one of them. These guys are so, so good, and I cannot iterate and reiterate that enough with just how amazing and impressed I am with these guys. So, yeah, these guys come in at number three for a reason. Well-deserved. All right, number two on this list is well-deserved. These guys, the Maywings, they are so, so good. They can be used to, uh, to raise up your dinos almost like a little nanny. You can uh, Their saddle pops out little bits that you can add things to them. They can pick up um, babies, and then you can imprint them right around there. You can also help them with feeding the dinos. Also, these guys, not only do they harvest things, they are also really, really good at mobility. They will get you around the map really really quickly they are act actually extremely extremely impressive what they can do so keep an eye out for these guys i would recommend that uh um you take something rather substantial to knocking these guys out because they do run from you um yeah just make sure you s watch where they go and you follow them and then you shoot them again or you can trap them and then shoot, um, knock them out that way it works out really really well now you can actually tame these guys well you can tame these guys at any level but you can get your saddle at level 19 really early on in the game so keep an eye out for these guys if you can get one of these guys early game you will actually have a probably one of the best gliders that there is in the game these guys are absolutely amazing and you can use these guys for a long long time and then once you're done using them you can use them to imprint your other things that you're using after that so not only do they help you out in the beginning of the game they help you get ahead in the early game which is amazing all right, now my number one dino, the dino that I think will give you the biggest advantage going ahead or when you start out, when as soon as you get it, you will have a massive advantage and then all the way through until you just cannot use them anymore and you can use these guys for so much that uh, it is extremely impressive just how much advantage they will give you and that is the Equus slash Unicorn. These guys are amazing. Now, they're a little bit harder to find on some of the uh, story mode maps they are a little bit harder to tame uh, because they only come in certain areas like on the island there's about four or five different spots where they spawn regularly so keep an eye out for those but if you're playing on the additional uh, free expansion maps Ragnarok, Lost Isles, Fjordr, even Valgaro you can find these guys in the early level at level 10 when you can actually first tame them and you can ride them at level 10 it is amazing now these guys um, not only can you uh, ride them without a saddle, but once you actually are able to put a saddle on them at level 20, uh, it opens up a whole bunch more because their saddle is a working mortar and pestle where you can also make uh, lassos where you can lasso things and drag them around the map. It's really good. Also, their regular attack, it's nothing to scoff at. It does quite a bit of damage, but the beauty of these guys is they will actually, their back kick it inflicts torpor and not just a little bit of torpor, a lot of torpor. So you can knock things out with these guys and then tame them with the uh, Equus. It is really good. So you team these guys up with a shoulder pet that allows you to, um, that helps you get all sorts of different, uh, like prime meats and such, like in Ichthyornis, and you have the perfect taming companions. The Equus plus the Ichthyornis, it is absolutely amazing, and I would actually like to give a shout out because I didn't want to do 11, but the 11th would have been the Ichthyornis when it comes to getting a massive advantage, especially compared, or especially uh, paired up with the Equus 
It is so, so good. So keep an eye out for these guys. If you can find one early on, get one. And all you have to do is passive tame them. Be careful. Don't touch their butt. Run up on them. And then ride them. It is really good. You need to have carrots in your inventory in order to tame them. Or you can use berries. I would recommend not using berries. Uh, just use carrots, which can be found on the expansion maps down on um, in some of the spots. Just find it just growing out in the wild. But if you're starting out on one of the story mode maps, get those crops going as quick as possible because trust me, you're going to want it and because Equus are amazing and you want one in your life. All right, so hey, I hope the list helped you out, especially for new and returning players, maybe even some uh, play, uh, people that have been around here for a long time. I hope the video helped you out. If uh, you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. And uh, yeah, if you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.